The first pictures now coming in from Puerto Rico after taking a direct hit. Hurricane Maria slamming into the island. One official saying the island is destroyed. Hours, hours with winds and, and rain and didn't stop. Power lines are down. Streets are impassable. Many roads are flooded. High winds uprooting trees, overturning cars, and turning buildings into piles of twisted metal. It is something that uh, will change Puerto Rico forever. We had no water, no food, no gasoline, no communication at all. Not knowing where my next meal will come from, it hasn't been easy. After Hurricane Maria, everything was gray, all the plants were dead. Hurricane Maria took the color away from us. I am sure that these children will not be the same. They will not be the same. They are still struggling and trying to recover from this. My name is Joe Acaba. I'm a NASA astronaut of Puerto Rican descent. I was about a week into my mission on the International Space Station. Uh, Hurricane Maria was forming up. And from there, if you looked out the window, you know, Maria took up a big chunk of what we could see. It was gonna cover the entire island. After the hurricane, their power grid was pretty much taken out. You know, you just couldn't see the island anymore. The hurricane, I think, had a huge impact on, you know, the, the island as a whole, but especially the kids. Joe Acaba was our hero, and we need uh, something positive. The students need uh, something positive. We wanted to pull through, forget all that happened, and lift up our spirits and lift off the island. So I knew I couldn't do much from up on the International Space Station. Uh, but I did want to connect with the students to show them that there is hope and that there are people out there that care about them. NASA has the STEM station, uh, which allows uh, the students and teachers to talk to the astronaut in the space station. It's making that connection so that maybe, you know, they become more interested and we can inspire them more to study the STEM fields. So we were able to uh, establish and coordinate with NASA one of these video conferences. Thousands of students from different parts of the island watching the video conference with the space station talking to Joe. This is Joe aboard the International Space Station. I have you loud and clear. How do you compare? What is the most impressive view? How did Puerto Rico look? 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 It was awesome because, you know, as soon as it came up, you could hear people clapping, people were excited. So even though I couldn't see him, you know, I could feel him, and that was pretty neat. It was amazing. He called from the International Space Station to see how Puerto Rico was doing, and that means a lot, a lot for us, a lot. In May of 2018, I was able to go back to the island my first time since the hurricane. It was a great opportunity to to get out and kind of come full circle with those students, to go and see them in person and, you know, kind of reiterate how important they are and just to give them a little bit more hope because there's still a long way to go on the island. He's a hero for us. Kids love him and uh, everybody loves him here. Joe Acaba is the role model that, that we need at this time. I want to be like him. I want to go far, and I want to be an example for little kids when I'm older. Not only is the International Space Station a great tool for scientific research and exploration, but for students from Puerto Rico in particular, I think that uh, having that video conference with them, it did provide some hope, it did provide some inspiration. And so it's just one of the, one of the benefits that we get from the International Space Station.